Hello, it is Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Saturday puzzle, so a tricky, themeless puzzle likely in store for us today. And this tricky, themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Austi Pelisser, Laura Sexton, and, as always, the inestimable hood monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to all four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And uh, their generous support is helping keep this channel a sustainable bit of my daily work. So thank you so much to them and to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any tier. I do very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks, you can join at any tier and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date. You can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And today, probably by the time you see this video, the boss words uh, Spring Themeless League competition puzzle, the most recent one, will be out um, up on the Patreon channel. And I did all right this week. Um, I got an answer wrong again. I got one cell wrong, which is so frustrating, but I did solve it. <laughs> I think it's probably my best solving time of this season so far, so that's at least nice. Uh, so yeah, won't, <laughs> won't be a, one of those big long slogs if you're a if you're a Patreon backer and you're interested in watching that. Um, also yesterday, the Friday weekly mini puzzle speed solve went up, so that's on the Patreon channel as well. And, um, oh yes, and you also get access to that extra channel in the Daily Solve Discord chat server if you're a Patreon backer. But of course, anybody can join that Patreon uh, server, uh, sorry, that Discord server uh, for free, the rest of it. So um, consider that as well. All right, and subscribe to the channel. There we go, I've said it. Now, let's get on to today's um, puzzle, the Saturday puzzle. This is constructed by Matthew Stock. It's done about a dozen New York Times puzzles, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It is a themeless puzzle, as, as noted, our second of two themeless puzzles for the week. So let's get going. Colorful warning. A red alert? No, that doesn't fit. Um, they might smell fishy. I don't know. It could be metaphorical fishiness. Freedom cry for some. Material for a child's necklace. Macaroni, maybe? It's a thing children in, I don't know, sort of arts and crafts class will often make um, various things out of pasta. But I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, actually, this looks right. Palindromic preposition could be air. So uh, this would be air meaning before in a poetic sense. Um, comes up quite frequently in the puzzle, actually. So what about this? Hue made from limonite. Hue. Ochre? Sort of guessing there. Um, I'm not exactly sure what limonite is. Um, obviously, it's some kind of, I would assume, kind of mineral-derived material. Uh, what's spread on a spreadsheet? Data? You could have a data spread. And a baseball team announcement. I don't know, moving? I'm not sure. Colorful warning. Go. No, go or no. They might smell fishy. Step in could be to enter a room, for instance. Game with baskets. Basketball's the obvious one, but it won't be the answer because we're already using basket in the clue. Um, Highly sort of has baskets, but that doesn't, doesn't fit. Colorful warning. What is this? And what about this? They've got their own problems. Oh, math tests it has math problems. And we don't have the question mark indicating pun or wordplay here because there's not because this is completely. Uh, you can this works completely normally without needing to um, indulge in any punnery. Okay, where to get down and dirty? A mud something? Does that work at all here? Plus something, Spain's national motto. Is it Plus Ultra? Whoops. I blank you. I dare you, perhaps. And land once known as the Peninsula of Gold. 
why don't I see what this is? What uh, can't be very many possibilities. They might smell fishy. Why do, oh, cat cat treats maybe they could be made out of fish literally. Ah, so colorful warning. Oh, code red. Okay, I was right with the red in red alert, but I should have thought of other uses of red in warnings. Okay, baseball team announcement. A roster, perhaps? They're announcing their team roster. And a game with baskets. Oh, disc golf, maybe? Does that have baths? Do you throw the frisbee into a basket? I don't know. Maybe. Software engineers, software engineers presentation. Tech something. Tech plan, maybe? Drove. And then here, they can have you going the wrong way. Here we have consolidate. You could merge things, consolidate them. Some advanced degrees, MDs, medical doctor degrees, maybe? No. No, that doesn't look right. Uh, MAs, Master of Arts, MSs, Master of Sciences. A, I guess, would look best with this R. So much could be far. What about this? Orange refreshment. Oh, Fanta, the um, fruit-flavored soda. Flexible positions. Asanas are yoga positions, so that could be it. Oh, is this Malaysia? Why didn't I... I thought of that, and then I thought it was the I thought it was too few letters, so I didn't say it. Why did I think that? <laughs> it's the strangest thing. I just completely I don't know. I don't know what happened there. It's a mental lapse. Departure announcement. Oh, bye. Right, of course you say bye, goodbye before you depart. So, oh, a mud bath is where you get down and dirty. And then Thea or Rhea are titans in Greek myth. And digital tool and nano something lacks for nothing. Oh, hasn't no has it all. There we go. Okay, so this is not nano anything. Digital tool. Oh, digital meaning the digits of your hand, your fingers. So a nail something, a nail clip, a nail file. Peter Pan competitor. Oh, this is a um. A uh, peanut butter brand. Jif is a competitor. And block. Could be block as a verb or a noun. Uh, like a shlemiel. Inept. A shlemiel is someone who's clumsy or not, you know, not skilled in Yiddish. And then write on. That's enough out of you. Can it maybe? Can it be quiet? That's enough out of you. And when we have a phrase like this, a slang, well, not slang necessarily, but a, a, a sort of idiomatic phrase or something that you exclaim, uh, you'll generally match the tone in the answer. So the clue in the answer will be of similar tone. So that's enough out of you. And can it? Those are both kind of used in the same sort of circumstance. They're a similar level of informality and frustration, I guess. Okay, so thing in Spanish... Actually, not sure. What about this? Oh, right on. I didn't know. Blow up. X uh, something? No, the X doesn't look like it would be plausible there. Aid for a breakfast chef. And bird with a forked tail. Is it, is it a turn? One of the um, one of the classic crossword birds along with the Aaron, E-R-N-E. Gram alternative. Gram alternative. Not sure. Maybe that's not what that is. Pop singer blank Max. I don't know. It goes hand to hand. A slap. Joe Joe Carter. So the question mark. There's something punny going on, and I think what this is getting at is that um, Carter is not a name, as it looks like it would be a name, but it's not capitalized. So we almost don't even need the, the question mark because the uncapitalized Carter already tells us we're using this in a different way. So I assume this means someone who takes coffee around or something that takes coffee around. So a coffee, uh, what, guy, man? I don't know what would fit in three letters. I assume it's coffee, Joe meaning coffee. Turnpike feature would be a toll booth, so a paid highway, paid motorway. And then modern initialism for one skimming text, TLDR, too long, it didn't read. 
Claude Pole. Is that an oaf, clumsy person? Like our Schlemiel over there? And they can have you going the wrong way. Well, it probably ends in S. And a spiritual wanderer. And then what is what is this? Part of La Famille. Um, why don't I see what that is? Online speller, seller of specialty crafts. An Etsy something? Etsy page, maybe? 1978 hit whose title is spelled out in its chorus. Yes, okay, it does look like Etsy, Etsy because this would be YMCA. And a Disney title girl, um, Moana, right? That fits. Fixes could be something that ends in an S. And Twitch could be a spasm. So, oh, Etsy shop. There we go. That's much more straightforward. Um, part of some drills. Part of some drills. So it could be drills, meaning the power tool, or not doesn't have to be power, it could be a tool, or drills as in routines, that kind of thing. What about this? Kelly of the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. Unsurprisingly, I don't know the sports clue. Step two in many skincare routines. This will probably be very obvious once I, once I see, see it. Um, spiritual wanderer, what is that? Oh, head fakes could have you going the wrong way, maybe? And flavor of many Anglo-Indian chutneys. Again, why don't I see this immediately? Is toll booth wrong? Seems like it would be right. Molten pools, lava lakes. There we go. It goes hand to hand. Oh, clap. Why did, why did I say slap first? That was very strange. Uh, pop singer Max. Ava Max. I don't know that person. Oh, apple, apple chutney. There we go. Uh, so this isn't toll booth. Okay, that, that probably explains why spiritual wanderer was confusing. So turn to sorry toll parks toll what? Why don't I see what this is? Very annoying. Oh, blank. I cannot be alone. I cannot be Emily Dickinson poem. Aid for a breakfast chef. A pan of some sort, omelet pan. There we go. Organization offering travelers checks, and we have another question mark here. So some kind of pun or wordplay, and in this case, checks I think means inspections rather than I don't know a promissory note or whatever you'd call a check. So the TSA, the um, Transportation Security Agency, I guess, and fix. So you could be you're in a fix. You're in a what? What is that? Or it could be fix meaning correct, obviously as well. Gram alternative. So is it gram the unit of measurement or are they being cheeky and it's gram as an Instagram? I assume it's the unit of measurement. Uh, so if this were turn, the forked tail bird, blow up. X, uh, blow up. Why don't I see what this is? It looks so close to a word that's very obvious. Why can't I get it? Oh, Toll Plaza. Oh, Super Size. Okay, never mind. I don't feel as bad for not getting that. Super Size Blow Up. Yeah, I mean, I see it, but fair enough. Uh, fix. A gram Alternative. What is that? Is it something you'd call your Nana? Yeah, you could say, hey, hello, Graham. Hello, Nana. Hey, Graham. I mean, that sounds all right. Pit, fix, pin. Oh, to fix something in place, to pin it in place. I see. That was a meaning of fix I had, wasn't thinking. All right. So what about this? Oh, to block something is to jam it up. If something is right on, it's apt. There we go. And a thing, cosa in Spanish. Okay. And then step two in many skincare routines. I'm still not sure about. Oh, lost soul is a spiritual wander. Ah, I was trying to think of a term or a term in various religions for this sort of thing. And I wasn't arriving at anything useful. So I was just on the wrong track there. Looking for something more generic. Playground denizens could be tots, small children. Kelly O'Hara. O'Hare probably has an R in it. Fixes something could be cures it. Oh, toner. Step two in many skincare routines. And parts, 
Part of some drills are alarms. Okay, fair enough. So you could have a fire alarm, for instance, a fire drill. So Kelly O'Hara, there we go. Um, like some gallery displays. Oh, Frere for brother. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? A very strange lapse again. I've had some, <laughs> some unfortunate moments in today's crossword. So let's see. Like some gallery displays. Um, arted? Doesn't sound very good. Artsy? Not sure about that. Let's try it. All made up, perhaps. I mean, sure, that could end in an S. How awful. Could also end in a Y. I mean, it's an adjective. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Something of minor interest. Ah, so this is minor spelled like someone who works in a mine. So they could be mining for ore. And word with hot or fly. Hot. Setting of the first panel in Hieronymus Bosch's The Last Judgment. Setting of the first panel. Uh, I don't know. I can sort of picture what I think this this work is, but I, I don't know if I'm thinking of the right thing. I'm sorry. I think I might just be thinking of a sort of pastiche of Hieronymus Bosch in general. Okay, let's see. Have we looked at everything up here? I don't know if we have. I don't actually think so. Rapper with the 2001 hit Superwoman Part 2. Don't know. Off the mark, question mark. And drove could be ran. You drove someone to do something kind of way. Software engineer's presentation. Right. So I thought this could maybe be tech plan. Drove. Shot, e.g. Take a shot, you take a go. Uh, beat. So if it's a past tense verb, it could end in ed. Does that help at all? Tech, I don't know. Oh, Eden, Eden. Setting of the first panel in Hieronymus Bosch is the last judgment. I bet that's right. Word with hot or fly. Is this hot rod or fly rod? Fly rod is something in a car, I think. All made up, perhaps. All made up, perhaps. It could mean fictional. I mean, it could mean you have makeup on, but it could also mean fictional. Or it could mean, I don't know, like a bed is made, maybe? Probably not that. Oh, this has an E. No, sorry. Oh, Joe Carter. Coffee run, maybe? Coffee can? Coffee tin? Coffee urn? I mean, it could be anything. How awful. Oh, I'm so sorry, maybe? Uh, so this would be coffee urn. Artsy, after all. Look at that. I was kind of surprised. Um, all made up, perhaps. Does this? Oh, something us. So it is It is uh, an adjective. All made up, perhaps. Software. Oh, tech demo. I should have thought of that earlier as well. Drove. Freedom cry for some. I something, maybe? Beat. Other side. I don't think I saw this clue before. Other side. I'm not sure. Freedom cry for some. TGIF? <laughs> Thank God it's Friday, maybe? Does that work? Oh, glamorous. If you're all made up, perhaps you glamorous. There we go. Um... I just don't know. Rapper with the two thousand one. I wish I just recognized these letters in a row here. I guess I just don't know this person, probably. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Off the mark. Off the mark. Erase, as in you get rid of the mark on the paper, maybe? It seems a little bit tenuous. Beat. Oh, tired. If you're tired, you're beat. So what was this? Shot, e.g. a dose. Oh. Okay, you take a shot, you take a dose of something, I suppose. Oh, no, you're given a shot, like an injection. Okay, that, that makes more sense. That's a dose. Okay, so off the mark, maybe this is a race. Strange. Oh, if you dro and if you drove some animals, you led them, for instance. Does that? Oh, so other side could be a foe, your enemy. And then this is Lil Mo, which I don't, yeah, I don't actually know that. Okay, there it is. So that 
that was the puzzle. What a night, what a fun, solid, themeless puzzle. Really enjoyed that. And really, I had a lot of trouble up here. I don't think I got particularly stuck anywhere else. I mean, I had areas of resistance, but nothing uh, kind of terminal until up here. Why did I have so much trouble up here? I guess tech demo, I thought could be a few different things. Um, didn't really have any good guesses about shot. Certainly, as it turns out, I actually didn't know this wrapper at all. Um, off the mark erase. That's <laughs> what a funny clue. So yeah, I suppose that does mean what I said, which is that you are, you're offing getting rid of a mark, a sort of pencil mark. What a, what a strange, what a funny clue, but fair enough. Other side, foe. Yeah. Wish I'd gotten that earlier. Freedom cry for some. I'm not surprised I didn't get TGIF early on. Thank God it's Friday. Um, Drove lead. That's good. I mean, this is a very, this is a classic example of a Saturday style clue where you have something incredibly vague like drove leading to something incredibly vague like lead. It, when I say vague, I guess what I mean is um, it's ambiguous. Drove could mean it has many different meanings and each one of those meanings probably has more than one possibility. And so it's very hard to, to jump straight from that. If you were didn't have any crosses on this, it would be hard to get straight from drove to lead, but I don't know, maybe, maybe some people might. Um, but that's the kind of thing that makes a Saturday puzzle difficult, I find. I think that's uh, intended to be the, the difficult element of a Saturday puzzle. Um, and yeah, this, it really was this area that gave me trouble. The rest of it, and then eat this Eden with the uh, Hieronymus Bosch thing. I'm glad I eventually landed on that. Um, and there we have it. I think this was a really good, solid Saturday crossword, and it was... Oh, and I actually didn't realize until just, I didn't point out until now because I didn't notice it myself. I didn't look. Um, oh, yeah. So, right. This 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 um, grid is not radially symmetrical, which is the typical form of symmetry in the New York Times crossword. And by that, I would mean if you rotated it 180 degrees, it would fit, it would, um, the black cells would form the same pattern. But in this case, that that wouldn't be true. This, this puzzle is um, symmetrical about a diagonal axis. So you can see here, if you folded this grid along this uh, negative diagonal here, the black cells would be disposed in the same positions. And so that's just, un it's just unusual. It's not the most unusual form of symmetry that you'll see in the crossword, but it is less common than radial symmetry. It doesn't mean anything necessarily, especially in a themeless puzzle, it doesn't mean anything, but uh, I had only just noticed it. Anyway, there we have it. There was a Saturday puzzle, a good, a good, I think, classic kind of Saturday themeless by Matthew Stock. Hope you enjoyed it as well. So now let's erect the spoiler wall and move on to some clues from yesterday's puzzle. So what do we have? I think there were several actually. Oh, Joseph Zichterman points out that I missed, there was a clue I missed entirely. It was a tricky clue apparently. So six down, was solved through the crosses without discussion. The clue was modern art with art in quotation marks. And as Joseph as Zichterman explains, it's not art in the artistic sense, but rather as in thou art, the old English way of speaking in second person. The modern, equi the modern equivalent is you are, and thus modern art is R, the word R, A-R-E. Very clever. So I, it's true. I missed that entirely. I, I try to catch the crosses that I that I solve um, without seeing their clues, but sometimes I sometimes I, I just don't notice. I just don't. I, I must have completely uh, let that go without without any any perception whatsoever. Jamie B says, just FYI, for reasons I do not know or understand, the Boston Celtic, well, as I said it, the Boston Celtics basketball team and the shortened version Celts here are pronounced with a soft C sound, like Celtics and Celts. So, sorry about that. Um, I guess I mispronounced that. Um, so I'm, I'm more familiar with Celtic being pronounced with a hard C sound. And uh, 
speaking of speaking of the uh, Boston Celtics, Kathleen Quinn says, "Wow, legacy Boston sports team clues two days in a row. The NHL yesterday and MLB and NBA today." Today's clue for the Boston Celtics refers to the great rivalry between the Lakers and the Celts, which was more particularly personified by the rivalry between Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, which actually started in an NCAA tournament in 1979. Wow, that's amazing. They've been lifelong rivals and off-the-court lifelong friends. And then on to Wade Boggs, who spent 18 seasons in MLB, primarily with the Boston Red Sox. He also played for the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. He won the 1996 World Series with the Yankees. So thank you for that good knowledge. And uh, speaking of sports, actually, uh, both Bradley and JS uh, said my suspicion was was correct about uh, how OTs over times relate to the concept of regulation. As JS says, the main body of a game is called regulation time and it's followed by overtime. And Bradley says, you'll often hear phrases like, we're tied up here at the end of regulation, so we'll be going into overtime. Makes sense. And finally, Remy explains, un coron is a crown, so definitely a type of headwear, as you guessed. Although in four letters, a coron could also be placed on your dent, D-E-N-T, your tooth. Very good. And that's that for yesterday's puzzle, which means that's that for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to the channel if so. Um, do appreciate that. We're already halfway from six to 7,000, so that's great. It's going much more quickly than it used to. I guess it sort of thing builds on itself. So thank you to everybody who's subscribed. And I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the long, leisurely Sunday puzzle, that big grid. Hope you join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Bye.